Thank you for staying with us. For those interested in going back to school or advancing, Neiman College offers many options in different fields. To talk about the Pharmacy Certificate Program, we welcome Thomas Frisco, Pharmacy Program Coordinator right here at Neiman College. Well, How are you, Thomas? Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about this program. There are many, uh, I think, adults who are looking to start over yes. and to get into a new career. And it's a great opportunity for somebody to do that. Uh, we offer the program at night and on weekends. Um, it's offered from 6 o'clock in the evening until about 940 and it gives somebody an opportunity to stay in their job and look for another career path down the road um, and healthcare has always been a great path or a great career because no matter what the economic times are they always have a job that's true um, so what we're trying to do here at the college is to show people that bridge or that pathway that they can get there so and then maybe get people out of a certain situation um, show them that they can gain, get gainfully employed that they can um, have a paraprofessional help the pharmacist and I've had students that have gone through the program that now are in the College of Pharmacy which is a really great thing that we look at so we can take people and expand on that which is good so this program has been going on six, since 2013 yes talk about the, some of the success um, stories that we you've seen so far well what happens is we've had the program um, its inception in 2013 um, with the academics at here at the campus and my pre predecessor Vanessa Walker um, what they did was they built up a CUNY Island Concourse a pharmacy lab state-of-the-art pharmacy lab we have everything from IV compounding to sterile compounding um, inside of the room we can do um, extemporaneous compounding which makes creams and ointments for somebody we all put capsules together so we have everything up there that we um, offer to the students and we're basically able to um, teach somebody from with no knowledge of pharmacy and how to get into a great career. What are some of the misconceptions that people come into with when they enter this program? Because they're coming in brand new. Yeah, right, I can't do the math. <laughs> math is the hardest thing for them. And I, I tell them if you can do, look at a fraction and understand that a fraction is a decimal, I can show you how to work with it. And then because all drugs come in milligrams mm -hmm. um, or grams and what we're able to do is we're taking those medications and we're giving them in doses unique for you and this is where compounding pharmacy comes into play or general pharmacy um, in the mid 1950s manufacturing um, started at the manufacturers but prior to that you went to the mom and pop pharmacy mm -hmm. and that's where you got your drugs yeah. when you dropped off the prescription there the pharmacist delivered to the house or you came back a little bit later but because of the masses the uh, manufacturers have come into play and kind of put things by its wayside. So compounding pharmacy is something that's up and running and we have a contract with a local Bronx community compounding pharmacy that we send our externs to. Our students have graduated the program, we send them there and they've gotten gamefully employed which is great. Um, so why that's do something you, like that. Why do you think this program is doing so well? What makes it unique? Um, because we care. Um, we, uh, we care about the program itself, we care about the community, we want to see the community get better. Um, I came from a um, different background. Um, when I was a younger person, I didn't have a lot of things. So when I made it successful, I always made a choice to give back. So the passion that I have given into this program and the passion that my instructors have in this program uh, really come out every day that we're in class mm -hmm. and you know we want to make sure that the person that comes through the door because it's their hard on money they can take a loan out they can get financial aid for this but at the end of the day they have to make a decision and we want to make sure that they made the right decision and they've gone out and have done their homework and at the end of the day if you're willing to give me your time I'm willing to show you how you can get a good job and that's what we look for and do you see that it's a lot of adults that have been joining the program or is there a lot of uh, students coming in straight from high school? I have both. Actually, I have a program right now that I'm running, which is high school students. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, we, it's really great for them because they don't know where they're going yet in life. Mm -hmm. And as a pharmacy technician, I can show you how to get a job or a paraprofessional um, do, and be able to work towards that college degree. Right. Um, and I also have people who have been downsized, unfortunately. And with this economy the way it is and the way it's going, who knows what's going on. Uh, so again, healthcare is a great field to go in. So I have both. 
Um, so my class um, that I'm running right now, I have a gentleman that is in his 60s in the class, and I have somebody who's in their 20s in the class. And it's a very diverse class, which is really good because the Bronx community is very diverse. And it just shows like it, right here, I'm looking at the, my facts, and it's saying that more than half of all jobs were in pharmacies and in drug, in the drug stores. Yes. Um, major chain drug stores and independent pharmacies are where most people go to, f to fill their prescriptions, about two thirds of them. Um, and when you look at that, that's an opportunity for somebody to work. So retail pharmacy is one place, hospital pharmacy is another place, mail order pharmacy is another one, the insurance company is another one. So we have a very diverse field that a lot of people don't really know about. They just know that hey, they go to their local pharmacy or their chain drug store pharmacy and they get the prescription there. But there's a lot of other areas of pharmacy that somebody can work in on the back door or the back end of it and they're able to still you know, provide it for their family. And that's what we look for. I think that's excellent. And the program is, is offered every semester? It's offered every semester. Um, our s program now is going to start at the end of the month, June 30th, uh, excuse me, January 30th, and run until June. Um, and the great thing about the program, it's affordable. It's $1,499. So $1,499. Not bad at all. No, it's not. <laughs> um, it's a couple nights during the week. Um, it goes from 6 until 940. Um, we offer a uh, class on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings or all day Saturday. Okay. So depending on what somebody's life is like, we can get them in either way. And again, trying to make a difference in somebody's life. And how long is the program? It's going to be six months. Now, within that, in that time frame, I go through the, the course, give them the didactic knowledge, and making sure that they have that education. After that, I send them out on an externship. So they get on the job training. And that on the job training can lead to employment down the road. So it's different between internship and externship? Um, internship, you're paid for. Externship, okay. you're not paid for it, so okay. it's gratis. Okay. So it's a volunteer office, okay. basically. But which could lead to employment. Which can lead to employment, which is great because you, now you got your foot through the door. Yes. And being in pharmacy for over 28 years, I know a lot of people. All right, Thomas. Well, I hope that the people at home take advantage of this. It sounds like a wonderful program. I hope so also. Thank, thank you, you so very much, much, Thomas. Appreciate Great. it. We've come to the end of our show today. I'd like to thank our guests for joining us and you, the viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of today's show, you can catch the Recablecast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Optimum Channel 67 and Verizon Fios 33 or watch anytime on the web at broadsnet.org. I'm Veronica Guiti, and remember to let your light shine.